What a strange question, but nonetheless, one that people have pondered for quite some time. At first, you may think the answer is relatively obvious. No, of course they don't. Plants don't have brains and emotions like humans, so how could they feel pain? Well, buckle up because I'm about to blow your mind more than Master Exploder by Tenacious D did to that random guy in the bar. And if you didn't get that reference, well, this video is going to make you question a lot of things that you once thought you knew. Today on LBQ, we're asking, do plants feel pain? Make sure to smash that like button and let's get into it, folks. As previously mentioned, this has surprisingly been a hot topic of discussion for quite some time among the scientific community. Some argue that plants can in fact feel pain, while others are certain they can't. Ultimately, that means this answer may change depending on who you ask. So naturally, the most widely accepted answer to the question is, well, we can't say for sure. Here's what we do know. Plants do not have nerves, brains, or pain receptors, meaning they don't feel pain or register what we understand to be pain. But just because they don't know what it feels like to be cut or hit doesn't necessarily mean they don't react when under distress. Could this be evidence that they are in fact susceptible to pain? Let's go deeper into this idea, of course, with some scientific backing, baby. Let's fucking go science, baby, let's go! I would smash my chest, but I got the mic here, so I don't want to ruin it. I don't want it to peak levels, but let's go science! Although plants don't necessarily have the same organs as us, some have argued that they aren't much different from humans, or even animals, in the sense that they have a ritual and life cycle. Others have argued that, for example, Venus flytraps have sensory abilities, in which they close and trap insects that land on them within milliseconds. And if they could feel things, then they must be able to feel pain and damage as well. Well, although there isn't necessarily a concrete way to confirm this, it seems more research has been done, which has led to some in the scientific community to believe that plants actually do feel pain and respond in numerous ways when under distress. More specifically, a handful of experiments published in December of 2019 from the University of Tel Aviv in Israel seemed to confirm this. Using both tomato and tobacco plants for their experiments, the researchers discovered that some plants do in fact emit high-frequency sounds when in environmental distress. Some have comprehended this as a way of warning other surrounding plants of an attack, while others think it could be the plant in distress screaming out of discomfort. Specifically using the two previously mentioned plants, the scientists legitimately recorded their findings by placing a microphone about 10 centimeters away from the plants, while they would cut them or not water them, closely monitoring any sound. Both plants did emit sounds at different frequencies, ranging from 20 to 100 kilohertz. When the tomato plant had its stem cut, researchers recorded that the plant had emitted 25 ultrasonic distress signals over the course of an hour. That is wild. When they deprived the tomato plant of water, it let out 35 distress signals in an hour's time. In regards to the tobacco plant, when the stems were cut, the plant sent out 15 distress sounds over the course of an hour, whereas the tobacco plants that weren't given some of that sweet, precious water let out 11 distress sounds. All in all, scientists can now confirm tobacco plants are tougher than tomato plants, and tomato plants are complete- No, I'm just joking, I'm not gonna go that far. Of course, to confirm whether or not the change in environment was the cause of the distress signals, the scientists compared their findings from these experiments to the results recorded of plants that were treated normally, for lack of a better word. As in, they were given proper water, no cut stems, you know, just like regular plant stuff if you were to take care of a plant. The ones that were treated as they should be let out less than one ultrasonic sound per hour. My friends, we got some science on our hands. Let's go. I just get so jacked up about science, guys. I can't help it. Some, something about it's so spicy. Another study has proven that some plants, when touched or plucked, would release a bad tasting chemical of sorts in hopes of warding off any insects trying to chow down. In a sense, it's a defense mechanism that the plants know to use, clearly leading to it somehow knowing it is in trouble. Does that mean it feels pain? Maybe. Or maybe it's just a natural reaction? Unfortunately, we can't say for sure, but it seems like we're leaning toward a yes. Because, you know, if it's a natural reaction, how does it know to naturally react to when something's eating it because it feels pain? Think about it. Another incredibly interesting point here, guys, is the smell of fresh cut grass. Although it may cause the sniffles and watery eyes for some, it smells so good. And if you're like me and love that freshly cut grass smell, well, you may be a psychopath because apparently that smell is a chemical that grass releases to ask for help. Its cries to spare its life are met with glee from me and likely you. How disgusting are we? When grass is cut, that smell we tend to enjoy is actually used to attract insects and other animals to help protect the grass, believe it or not. Another study has confirmed that some plants actually know when they're being eaten because they can hear it. So we don't know if our salads feel when we bite down, but they definitely hear a crunch and think, was that me? 
A study from the University of Missouri Columbia determined that some specific plants responded when being eaten by caterpillars, with some even deploying self-defense mechanisms. So crazy, so science! Ultimately, it seems this may be a question that will be argued for centuries, as the idea of pain may be objective. For example, as we know, humans have different thresholds for pain. What hurts me may not hurt you, but does that mean that humans don't feel pain? Not necessarily. Interesting concept when you put it that way. And as we saw with the tomato and tobacco plants, the tomato plants appear to let out more signals of distress than the tobacco plants. So ultimately, this is a question that needs to be answered only after extensive research is done on each and every plant, as ridiculous as that sounds. From a broad perspective, it does appear that plants may actually be able to feel some sort of pain, even if it's not the same kind of pain we as humans are able to process. Very cool to think about, very science. Now, as always guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one down below. Do you think plants feel pain? I do. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. What if there was a worldwide blackout in 2021? I am Billy said, Billy will build a giant light bulb. Appreciate you, Billy. You're always saving the day, saving the world. So if you need help with that light bulb, just knock on my window, see me a little, and I'll be like, hey, Billy, I'll help you later because I'm busy playing World of Warcraft. Lucy and Douglas said, wow, I thought I was the only one who watched in the shower. I watch a lot of things in the shower. I don't watch LBQ in the shower, but I watch other things in the shower. Huh? Haha. <laughs> Eli Uchiha said blackouts would be amazing but get boring after a while. I don't think they'd be amazing at all. I think it'd be awful. I think people would die very quickly. Like starvation, they would die from hypothermia because there'd be no heat. Like it'd be awful. It'd be the worst thing in the world. So I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's all for this one. I've been your host here at Bronstein. Smash that like button and stay spicy my friends.